Hello YouTube Boss Rino Welcome to my channel <laughs> Ta Tawag dito, ito Nooks Top 5 Sigurado malupit to kasi mag-uundas na Ang Nooks Top 5 malupit yan eh Mag- uh, uh, Mag- 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 hanap ng mga video kaya sa hindi pa nakakabili ng Boss Rino Coffee sa Shopee sa TikTok tayo mga kabili search nyo lang Boss Rino Coffee so wag natin patagal ito kasi mahaba ito at sigurado nakakatako ito at kahit mahaba ito hindi tayo may inip subscribe yung Anuk Stop 5 so tirahin na natin to pago pa tirahin ng iba the old Willis play. nagulat ako eh kasi kalbo din yung manikin talo ko ako yes. Urban explorer Robert from the YouTube channel Sidestep Adventures into History is joined by his friend Dan to explore an old abandoned house in the woods near Waverly Hall, Georgia. Dan estimates the house to have been built or rebuilt around the early 1900s, after which it was abandoned sometime in the 1960s. The house is known by locals to be the quote, Old Willis Place, named after Mr. Willis, a man who lived there and presumably also died there. Now, Robert and Dan are determined to find more clues as to exactly how old the house is. They look inside, around, and even underneath the building. Doesn't that look like an early settlement style chimney there? It does. What's interesting is the chimney. Tinan nyo naman, no? ang creepy ng bahay. Imagine nyo, ha? dati ito natitirahan to, di ba? Tinan nyo naman yung baligid. Ang ina nyo natitira dito, hayop na yan. Looks like an older style than the house looks. I'm thinking that this was probably built in the early 1900s. There's a child's room. Oh, that's cool. How old do you reckon that is? That's old. It's not silver, it's, it's brass, silver plated. Oh, look. Oh, creepy look, boy. Uh, look at the entire stump. Looks like it was cut down, I guess, with an ax. I set the light down. I'm gonna touch it. This is an old tree right here. That's for sure. Yeah. But while inspecting the foundation of the old Willis place, the two explorers are suddenly interrupted by something downright creepy. Oh my God, it's enough. Either this was a one room house or it was a two room house with a dog trot all the way down the middle. It's kind of hard to tell from here. It's uh, been a lot of pillars were placed under here. Yeah. A lot of floor supports. So that's a 1958 Coke bottle, right? What is that? Whoa, 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 whoa. Big towels are low. Big towels are fast. Tang ina, may nahakbong sa taas. Ah, that's weird. Here. Gago, ang creepy ng bahay, eh. That is strange. You heard that, right, Dan? Yes, I did. <laughs> I'm weird, Dago. That was weird. All right, that's gonna. That's enough of this old house for a minute. We're gonna go look at something else. All right, uh, well, we're gonna go ahead and get out of here. Um, so I hope you guys have- Whoa, 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 whoa. Robert and Dan are taking a look underneath the house <laughs> when suddenly they hear the eerie sound of footsteps on the floor right above them. Whoa, what is that? Uh, they quickly crawl out from underneath the house and look inside, but there's no one there. Then while filming the outro for the video, a loud bang is heard from the old Willis place. All right, uh, well, we're gonna go ahead and get out of here. Um, so I hope you guys have... The two explorers are a bit creeped out. Tinan nyo naman yung paligid ng bahay, anak ng tipaklo. Imagine nyo yung gabi to, tapos nakadyan ka nakatira. Tinan nyo yung paligid. Ba't sila jamitira sa ganyan, anak ng tipaklo? ...by the bizarre experience and decide to just get away from the house. They explore the area a bit more and then head home. So could it be that they accidentally captured a paranormal event on camera? Could it be the ghost of old Mr. Willis? 
You can watch this entire exploration, as well as many more surveys of creepy and historic abandoned locations, over on the YouTube channel, Sidestep Adventures into History. We need scary videos, so if you see anything that dot com. Ipasa, ipasa nyo yung ano ko dito, iscreen, iscreen recording nyo yung, yung sinasabi nyo yung namamatay matay yung ilaw, ipasa nyo dito, oo. <laughs> Hindi ko, ayoko kasi ipasa, kasi, kaya ayoko ipasa dyan. Hindi naman ako naniniwalang, ano eh, ang alam ko talaga, medyo naglolo ko lang yung kuryente. Paranormal Captivity This next video was shared to the internet by Reddit user Lauren Constantino from Auburn, Pennsylvania. Lauren says that she has recently moved into an old early 1900s house that she shares with two roommates. Late one evening, Lauren is hanging out when she spots her roommate's cat in the hallway and decides to take a short video. But as she's recording, she spots something very disturbing. Did you see it? For just a fraction of a second, a distorted face appears right in front of the cat. Shocked by what she captured, Lauren posts her video on Reddit in the hopes of getting some answers. But Reddit users are quick to point out that the face looks like it could have been made with some popular common face filters. But Lauren says that she wasn't using any kind of app or filter. She was recording directly from her iPhone's camera. But what is truly bizarre is that this face doesn't look like any face altering, makeup, or face swapping filter was used. The face is odd and twisted and has hair, eyebrows, a nose, and mouth. And even creepier, half of another distorted upside down face seems to appear right beside it. Oh my god. So just what is this? I leave it up to you to decide. The Router Revenant. A jet bueno is the proud new owner of a small internet cafe in Marilao, Philippines. Sabi ko ni, isang tingin ko pa lang eh, merong internet shop. Alam ko lang agad Pilipinas eh. Ang lakas agad yung kutub ko eh. You know, it's the proud new owner. Ito, nakita ko pa lang to. Or of a small internet cafe. Ito, nung nakita ko to, papi ko, parang Pilipinas to. Kasi sa atin, halos ganito sa atin eh, mga computer shop, ganito talaga yun. Ang sikip-sikip, puro bata, naglalaro. Alam ko na agad, Pilipinas eh. Hi! Faye in Marilao, Philippines. Late one night, a Jet's girlfriend, Jen, drives over to the cafe to catch up on some important paperwork. Jen is completely alone with only their cat, Bulog, to keep her company. What happens next is truly bizarre. Si Bulag. Uy, gago. Creepy to. Pilipinas to. May salamin dito, oh. Tak, yun na. Kinakabahan ako. Hayop. Ba't hindi nag-viral sa atin to? Shi, you mouse. Nakakita ng pusa yung mouse. Tumakbo. Ay, eto na. Oy, ulol. Dapat may tali yan. Walang tali ako nakikita. Tapang ni ate, no? Ako, wala na ako dyan, no? Far away na ako dyan, far away. Oh, shit! Oh, my God! Wala, takot na takot si ate. Oh, gago, creepy. Oh! Ah! 
Headphones and a keyboard start falling from desks, eventually Anong? freaking out Jen so- Ano nangyari? Wow! Headphones and a keyboard start- Gago, totoo totoo yun yung reaction ni ate, ganun din reaction ko eh. Oh, kaya alam ko totoo eh, ganun din ako sisigaw din ako ng ganun eh. Oh, mababa din talaga ako pag ano eh. Start falling from desks, eventually freaking out Jen so much that she hurries out of the cafe and calls her boyfriend Ajet, the cafe owner. Ajet seems to calm her down enough that she goes back inside to collect her things. But as Jen turns off the lights, one of the chairs quickly slides toward her, scaring her so much that she panics and just throws her paperwork at the chair and runs out. Ajet shares his CCTV footage to his social media and asks people to keep an open mind. Now, Ajet and his girlfriend Jen have never posted anything about the paranormal before, and they say they have never experienced anything supernatural until this incident. But is it real, or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. The Goodwill Ghost Doll. Grabe. Grabe yun? Sa May nagsabi dito, para daw scripted. Kahit na scripted. Oh, for example, pinaprank yung babae, nakakatakot pa rin. Parang ang galing-galing naman ng pagkakagawa nun. TikTok user James Fodder bought a Oh my God, ano ba naman itong mga napapalood natin? Very creepy doll at his local Goodwill. At the time, a store employee warned James that the doll's previous owner was in a rush to get rid of it because she believed it was very haunted. James didn't believe in the paranormal and knew the doll was worth quite a bit of money. So... He bought it and took it home. That's when he realized that he had made a huge mistake. James began to hear voices. The doors in his home started to open and close on their own. And scariest of all, he started seeing strange shadowy shapes around his home. James decided to place the doll on a chair in an empty room with a motion activated camera monitoring it. What he captures is downright creepy. My God. Ah, ito pala yun. Nakalimutan. Uf. Gago ko ako may ari ng CCTV na ganyan. Tapos, gumagalaw yan. Punyita. Nakakadetect siya ng motion eh. Layo ko ng ganyan CCTV. Punyita. Oh, shit. Ina yung tinakakabahan na ako The camera moves around as if tracking movement somewhere in the empty room But nothing's moving Then a small dark shape can be seen quickly moving across the floor in the hallway behind the doll James explains that the camera only moves when it senses physical motion so he has no idea why the camera would be moving when there's nothing there. Another night of filming, and when James checks his camera footage, he is shocked. That may or... Ay! Sinasabi ko na sa hula eh. Gumalaw ha, yun pa man yung gato Aha! Aha! CCTV to ha! The camera still moves all around, seemingly tracking something that we can't see. Then, oh, the doll seems to just start moving all on its own. James says that he was a skeptic before all this, but that he now 100% believes that the doll he brought home from Goodwill has a paranormal entity attached to it. But, what do you think is happening here? Is it real, or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. The trespassers.
This next mysterious video was shared to Reddit by Rafael LH 445 who claims that his sister recorded the footage on her property. Late one night, a motion activated security camera outside their home senses movement. Oh, she. Pina palis, pina palis. Oh my God, wala. The CCTV records two trespassers standing at the property gate. The homeowner heads outside to demand that they leave and clicks his car alarm to activate his truck's headlights. It lights up the two strangers as clear as day, but when he yells for them to leave, they don't move. Then the man heads for his truck, reaching inside and flipping on the headlights. But the trespassers have disappeared. To this day, the family has no idea who they were or what they were doing there. But most disturbing of all, where did they go? The Graveyard Flyer A while back, we featured a video by ghost hunters David and Dell from the YouTube channel Signs and Signals. In the video, they visited what is said to be a haunted church and captured multiple encounters with a creepy shadow figure. Did you used to play piano here? We would love to hear you play again. react each time the doorbell rings. The doorbell? Then it just moves off and disappears into the night. Let me know what you think. Through the roof. Late one night, Shally and her daughter Melody go outside to take a look at a group of cute cats that have gathered in the yard outside their home in Indonesia. Then things take a very creepy turn. Ada apa deh? Ada apa? Ayo bata. Dai pusa. Dia ada lihat ada apa emang? Masuk. Kenapa deh? Sudah kabar no pagi bata talaga? Did you see it? No. Someone or something can be seen standing on a rooftop right in front of them. Shally doesn't see it and is confused as to why her daughter is so upset. It's only after posting the video to TikTok that viewers tell Shally there was something on that roof. But what do you think this is? Wala akong makita. Let me know. Wala akong makita. Ano sa tingin niyo? <laughs> Ang haba pero hindi ako na inip in fairness. Grabe. Iba talaga pag nox to. Mm -mm. November mo ako to ya-upload. Ang gabi.